beautiful people. Um, before we start the video, if you haven't liked and subscribed already, go ahead and do that. I wanted to retouch on the Shein Hall nail set because I feel like I could have used more of the items in the set that I did. So that is what this is. I used some more stuff to create a really fun Easter candy themed set. So I hope that you guys really like it. Um, but before we get into that, we're going to go ahead and do some nail mail. This is a couple more items that I wanted to pick up from Amazon. Um, there's four items in the bag. The order was five items, but one of them was a really big jar of turtle food. I don't know if you'd be interested in that. Um, but the first item is I got myself some of these Tammy Taylor peel and stick files. I believe these are the regular 100, 100 grit ones. I also have the purple terminator files by Tammy Taylor as well and I did use them in this video so they will be linked down below as well as these regular 100 grit um, peel and stick. All you do is you just peel off the back right here, you stick it to the plastic piece and then bam you got yourself a file. Um, I really like these, these work really well and they last a really long time. And as you can see here, it has the logo, the website, and the grit and the information about the file. This came with either, I don't know if it was 20 or 25 or 15. I don't know how many this came with, but I'm definitely going to link them down below for you. And then I got myself one of these mini UV LED lamps. I got it because today I'm going to be trying the pop-off method. I have never done this before. I wanted to try it out. I also got some um, peelable, um, like the nail polish, so that I can remove them really quickly after. You will see that here as well. Um, I'll tell you my thoughts on that a little bit later though, but right here is the nail lamp. It has three of those little LED lights, UV LED lights on the top, and the cord is actually pretty long. It, um, it reached as far as I needed it to. And this here is the peel off base coat. It's called Ready for Takeoff by UNT or unt, I'm not sure if you say UNT or unt, but um, you know, I got that. I saw that Nails by Key had used it, and um, she's one of the people that was using like a regular peelable base coat instead of the do-it-yourself one. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. If you haven't checked her out, check her out. She got some really cute stuff um, on her page. And so it comes in this cute little blue box. It's got the little instructions on the back. Um, it's also used for if you want to like do polish without making a mess all over yourself. If you have an issue with that, you can use it for that as well. And then here I got myself one of those mini like flashlight UV LED lights just because I want to be able to um, cure charms and stuff without having to stick my hand in and out of the full size nail lamp. It does unscrew from the back and it does take three AAA batteries. Um, I did pop those in uh, a little bit later on after I did this and it does work. It also came with a cuticle pusher and it came with two little mini nail files. Before I actually started trying to put the tips on, I wanted to make sure that this lamp was gonna work or how it worked, and it just has a little power button on the inside um, that turns it on and off, and it did get reasonably hot. And then I'm just gonna go in and use the square, um, extra long C-curve tips, the Core Clear from Young Nails. And I'm gonna be using these Aurora paper slash transfer foils. I'm gonna have to take a look at them at another time because I think some of the colored ones are transfer foils, not Aurora paper. And then these are transfer foils. These are the ombre ones from the haul as well. And then I went in with these four glitters just because I thought that they would match the foils um, pretty well that I went in with. I did try to use the orange one to make a cute little flower. You'll see how that went. But teaser, this nail set did not go smoothly. Not at all. Um, I also wanted to make sure that I used these rhinestones because I did not in the last one and I showed them in the last one. But this is everything from the haul. 
that I'm going to be using in this video. And I'm also going to be using the Beatles Nail Art Foil Glue. And I'm going to be also using the Mia Secret Glass Finish Gel. I really like this top coat, but maybe not for what I used it for later on. And I am going to be using the peelable base coat from UNT. I also was going to go in and use these cute little pink butterflies because I really wanted to add like a spring touch to this Easter set, but we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, so this is everything that I'm going to be using in this nail set. I also used my um, Kiara Sky Monomer and I wanted to go ahead and use this Young Nails brush um, that came with the Young Nails core kit that I had gotten. And I'm just going to go ahead and start, because I'm doing a peel off base coat, I didn't do too much. I did use the um, Blue Cross Cuticle Remover just because it had been a while since I had nails on my left hand. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that and then I'm going to start my cuticle prep by using my cuticle pusher and just pushing back the cuticle and scraping up, you know, some of the leftover dead cuticle underneath. And then I'm going to take the back of it as well and I'm going to scrape up the rest of the stuff that's kind of like stuck to it. But as for nail prep, because I'm using the peelable base coat, I'm not gonna do any of my other prep. I'm not gonna dehydrate, I'm not gonna prime, and I'm not gonna go in with like a sanding band or anything like that. I'm just gonna clean up the cuticles and I'm gonna get right to work. And as you can see, I'm just doing the scraping portion of the cuticle work, and that is pretty much all that I'm gonna do. Um, I've never done the peel off base coat method before, so please forgive me for what you're about to see. Like I said in the beginning, this was not an easy set for me. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead. I forgot that I used my cuticle nippers as well, but that is the last step that I did in this nail prep for this set. Um, but please forgive me for, you know, the havoc that is the footage in this set. They did come out really pretty, so I tried to salvage as much as possible. But I did have issues with the peelable base coat. And I took some very bad advice on how to not make transfer foils cloudy when you put acrylic over them. But we'll get to that. This is what my nails look like with the peelable base coat on. I don't think that I put a thick enough of a coat because when I see um, Key do them, she hers are like really shiny and they look thick. So I think maybe part of the problem that I was having a little bit later on was that I did not put a thick enough um, peelable base coat, coat on my nails. Um, and then I'm just gonna use this gel and base coat to glue the nails to my fingers and this was a little bit of a lear learning curve, especially with having nails on my other hand. How to hold these nails onto my fingers and then in the lamp. I had to redo them a couple times. Thankfully, I had the peel-on base, peelable base coat and not, you know, just like my regular prep because this would have been a nightmare. But after I really got the hang of it, this nail lamp is pretty convenient for that sort of thing. And this is what my nails look like with the tips on. Not too shabby, only slightly crooked. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim them down a little bit. Um, I didn't trim them down too much because I'm gonna be popping them off so it doesn't matter. I'm sorry that I kept going out of frame. I seem to be having an issue that when I zoom out, I forget that I'm zoomed out and I forget that my, my area of focus is going to be different. So now that I have that firmly set in my mind, I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't happen anymore. I went ahead and I cut up the Aurora foils. I have to go back and check these. I think that maybe the pink and the yellow are actually transfer foils. Um, and the blue, the blue clear one doesn't seem to be so. But when I was putting them on the nail, I don't know if you can notice in the video, but when I was putting them on the nail and the monomer was touching the back of them, the pink was coming off the back. So I'm going to try maybe another time to double check and see if they are actually transfer foils and not Aurora paper. 
Um, but here you can see I just separated the three colors. That way I could go ahead and grab them easier when it's time to put them on the nails. And I did give you a nice little close-up shot so that you could see, you know, the colors and what they look like. These files here that I'm using to um, take away the shine and uh, get the tips evened out a little bit aren't bad, but I do prefer the Tammy Taylor peel and sticks, especially when you're working on the actual acrylic. Um, I will link these files down below as well though because these are actually pretty good with poly gel from what I've experienced. And you know, if you don't want to use up your good file on stuff like this, these are definitely like, you know what I mean, a file that you could just use to do the light work. and not put too much wear and tear on your favorite ones. And this is what my nails looked like um, once I was done with the um, taking the shine away. This I did not like. I think it's because I was afraid to file the peel off base coat. So I ended up getting like that little crusty layer and um, I'm just cutting out a couple pieces of the transfer foil. And then I want to show you what they looked like. Just, you know, big enough to cover my nail. And I went ahead and I started with a um, thin layer of clear because I wanted to give some, I didn't want these to be too bulky and I wanted to give something for the glitter and the shards to um, stick onto. But y'all, wait wait till you see the, the bungling that is about to happen. I, just watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this Beatles gel on my middle finger and I'm gonna put it on my pinky as well this is the foil glue um, I think that this stuff works great I don't have any issues with this like I do the rhinestone glue um, this the other couple times that I've tried foils before making videos I had no issues with this foil glue either um, but um, like I said I put it on my pinky and I put it on my middle finger and then you just want to go ahead and if it's a small piece like this you want to grab a pair of tweezers and clean the back of it off with alcohol just to remove any oil or dirt or anything else that might be stuck to the back of the transfer foil that way you don't get any lumps or bumps or any weird stuff going on behind it and then I use the same pair of tweezers to go ahead and put the foil on the nail patted it down down the center with my finger real quick uh, push the sides down just a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and get this little this is actually a cuticle pusher But you might have um, some rubber tools at home for this type of thing. I don't I don't have those yet so I use this little rubber cuticle pusher and Just you do the whole length of the nail wherever you want the foil to touch really rub it in there like you really want to kind of rub it in um, and You know if you see any little air bubbles make sure that you rub those in as well Make sure you get the sides the tip the whole thing and then as you can see here, it came out pretty well. And then if you do have any little patches, you just use whatever um, is left of the foil to go back and just press that on those spots that don't have any transfer foil on it on the nail. Uh, then I did the same thing with the pinky. And y'all, you see me holding that pinky like that? The pinky fell off. While I was doing this, the pinky nail fell off. I was so mad. I had to go and glue it back on with some base coat gel. I was not happy. But as you can see, the transfer foil stuck. It looks really nice. It's exactly how I had pictured it, and it's gonna go. Oh, here we go. You see what I did here? Somebody told me that if you don't want transfer gel to look cloudy underneath acrylic, to use top coat. So I used the Mia Secret top coat, which does not have a tacky layer, so I don't know if that's why this didn't work but it doesn't have a tacky layer. So I used the Mia Secret top coat to go over the transfer foil and when I went to put the acrylic on, I'm gonna have some issues. Um, but I started with the, with the um, Aurora foils on the ring finger. I just did like a little mix of all three colors. Actually, I think I only used yellow and pink here, but I put the Aurora foils on that finger and I'm gonna put Aurora foils in, on all the fingers except for the index finger. On the index finger, I'm not gonna put any foils. Um, but yeah, watch how much of a hard time. And you can even see it in the video. You see how the acrylic is like separating on top of the top coat? This was not fun. It took me so long to get some usable footage for this, but I had already committed, especially once I got the foils on the ring finger and I saw 
the middle and the uh, pinky with the foil on it next to it it just I knew that this set was gonna look exactly how I wanted um, I was going for like that Easter basket theme with like some glitter that I did not use something that I said I was going to in the beginning but it just didn't work out that way um, I still think they look cute do I think the pink ones would have looked a lot better yes um, maybe if I would have thought at the time instead of getting frustrated to bend them like in the middle a little bit because they're like a plastic material I might have been able to make it work but I got frustrated and I didn't think that far ahead but now I know for next time when I want to use them you know I just got to bend bend them in half and see how that works out so I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate um, the nails now that I have the foils and the glitter on them. People, that pinky was so janky at this point. It had popped off twice. It popped off when I was putting the foil on it, and then it popped off when I was putting the acrylic on it. Mm -hmm. 